welcome to the Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition in partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Jada. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you on this week's SMD Wire. We need to replace the Thomas Johnson Bridge, said Senator Ben Cardin. Adding the two spending measures from Congress could provide the funds to get the project back on track. State officials have said it would cost hundreds of millions of dollars to replace the bridge. In January, MDOT Secretary Jim Ports told the Southern Maryland Tri-County Council it's not just not possible to fund the state project. State Senator Jack Bailey said that in a meeting planned for Monday, March 21st, underneath the bridge in Solomon's to address the lack of funding for the replacement project. Superintendent Scott Smith and the school system will come up with $700,000 to fully fund plan pay raises for bus drivers and attendants. He noted the county commissioners recently approved an additional $5.2 million for school system and staff salaries. That's in accord with the three-year negotiated agreement. Between the school system and staff, that represents raises of 4.5% to 5%. The commissioners decided to fund only $800,000 of a requested $1.5 million for pay raises for bus drivers and attendants, leaving the school system to try to figure out how to fund the remaining $700,000. An effort to build a badly needed fresh food market in Indian Head is one step closer to reality. The town council approved $375,000 in funds to assist the development of the grocery store. This is extremely exciting. The last time there was a grocery store in town was in 1999, Mayor Brandon Paulin said after Monday's vote. Maryland Steel said the entire project will cost $3.75 million and funding streams are being sought for the remaining $1.6 million needed to fully fund the initiative. Hill is the interim executive director of the Maryland Network Against Domestic Violence, a Lenham based organization with a mission to provide support to, vic to victims through professional training, technical assistance, and a lethality assessment program. The, la the late February virtual ceremony was to remember 58 Marylanders who, in 2021, lost their lives due to intimate partner homicide, including two in Southern Maryland. Now turning to sports. While many male wrestlers from the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference had to settle with minor wins at the Maryland State Wrestling Championship on Saturday, a group of female wrestlers got themselves multiple winning medals in consecutive title matches. Two Northern High School students, Brianna Holcomb and Emma Hardman, won the state championship on Saturday evening. SMAC girls basketball's girls team fell in state quarterfinals. Saturday afternoon, North Point saw its eighth game win streak, and 2021-2022 season came to an end when the Eagles were upended by host Flowers 64-57 in a game that was considerably close than the final score indicated. North Point led by two at the end of the third quarter and owned a 54-45 lead with 6.45 remaining. But the host Jaguars outscored the Eagles 19-5 the rest of the way. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm, I'm Caleb. I'm Jada. Signing off.